A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you today on this fine Thursday morning. And of course, we value your feedback. Talk to us today. We have a very interesting and important conversation that we are about to have. It's all about dealing with heartbreaks. How can you deal with a heartbreak as a man? And uh, they say men don't cry. Kamu mevunja moyo. Should you cry? Is it a way of dealing with the heartbreak? And, and uh, some people revenge. When they're heartbroken, they plan uh, revenge. What do you do? How can you deal with the heartbreak? While other people, they go, they start taking ice cream. You know them, you see them, and they shut down. Others, uh, uh, you know, go uh, MIA. You don't know where they are. They're just missing in action. People react differently from heartbreaks. So the t today, let's find out how best can you deal with the heartbreak. When somebody has offended you and you are married to them, how do you deal with that? When somebody has offended you and you're planning to get Get married to them. How do you deal with that? Your boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be your spouse, your fiance, or your husband or wife. Today, let's talk about this particular issue. To my far right, I'm with uh, Reverend Evans Kocho. He is a pastor, a counselor, and of course, uh, 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 an expert when it comes to him. And only because tired, he may on the same Eh, ujama, ame ame kuaki aki saidia watu. Also, of course. A conference speaker, can you say Pleasure. I'm uh, glad to be back again. You've seen people who are looking for someone who has an idea. Oh, really? Yeah. That's my pleasure. Uh, I, 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 and there is a, a comment I, I saw on Facebook. I will, I will read that uh, that comment. I think someone also was addressing you. Oh, of right. course, thank you so much for coming. You're well? Thank you. I'm well. All right. And of Ready course, uh, I am with Emma and Jerry. We were with her last week uh, in regards to, to, to this particular conversation and we said, you know what, let's do this again. Emma Karibusana. Thank you so much. Yeah, she is a media personality and uh, uh, <laughs> 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 an actress. <laughs> Karibusana, Emma. Thank you so much. I did that again. Huh? You, you almost, almost. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And of course, you value your feedback. The hashtag is Fire Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and at Y254 Channel. That's where you can be able to find us. Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. And that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Power Talk starts now. Start engaging with us. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, I shall sample your feedback a bit later on. Head over to our Facebook page. You've, we've made a post on our page. Uh, that's on Y254. Like the page, follow the page, and drop your comment there on that particular question. And of course, ask any question that you, uh, you, you li you, you'd like to uh, ask. Let me start with you, uh, uh, Reverend Evans. And of course, you were not there before. Uh, 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 Emma had already given her stand uh, in regards to some particular areas. We shall, re we shall review those, those, those things. But before we, we do that, let's address this first. And I, I want to start from a, a very different angle uh, 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 today as a man. When a man is heartbroken, is there, is, is there a way that a man ought to deal with heartbreak? Well, uh, there are so many angles to look at this uh, topic or this issue mm -hmm. of heartbreak. And uh, if we talk from the angle of a uh, relationship yes. where a man and a woman are in a relationship mm -hmm. and the man is heartbroken, yes, there are several ways to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Because um, to me, as a counselor, heartbreak is part of life. It's like being on a thicker superhighway and you don't expect an accident. It, is, it happens. A bigger percentage of people have gone through it, have dealt with it. And also some percentage have also gone through it, uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, became victims. So there are several ways of dealing with this thing called heartbreak. It happens, but one thing you need to know and understand and accept, it is part of life. It is part of life. Yeah, it happens. So how should a man handle it? Um, um, many say that men should uh, man up. And there's a way they expect you to react when you're heartbroken. 
One, it is very wrong for you to try to be strong when you know you are very broken. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. One of the biggest avenues that breaks people so much and leads people to a lot of things, even to death, is trying to be strong while you are not. Mm. You need to be yourself. It happens. Number one, accept it happens. Number two, you need to get yourself in a, a better environment for your healing. Heartbreaking meaning something has happened to the heart. Mm. Something has interfered with the condition of the heart, the, 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 the position of the heart, the peace, the comfort of the heart. Yeah. So when you are uh, sick, mm. you need to be in a place of treatment. You need to shift environment. You don't need to keep quiet. Keeping quiet is another way of postponing a problem. You can never overcome a problem by postponing it. You it, don't need it, to keep it, quiet. You know they say that mm. a man should not cry. But here we see a man who is at a point of weakness. A man should cry. That, you know, the world can tell you so many things. But check everywhere, even the Bible. Mm. Great men in the Bible. Jesus himself cried, wept. When you are heartbroken, one of the fastest way of easing yourself and removing pressure out of you, cry if you can. Cry if you can. Yeah. Find yourself in an environment you can't release yourself. Crying actually is, um, is, is, uh, is a way of releasing yourself. Mm. There are people that when they are offended with their heart broken, if you deny them that chance to cry, my friend, they will explode. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this issue of a man can't cry, even if you are before a woman, cry. Let me, to, <laughs> let, let, uh, let me come to you, Jerry, on what he has said. Even if you are before a woman, cry. But a lady will see a man cry and come and squeeze. Who is the woman in this house? Unalilia nini? I I think there is no place that is written that a man should not cry. And I think we are we have become so judgmental when it comes to men. Mm. We treat them as if they are superpowers, as if they are not yes. human. But uh, truth be told, we are all human. We all have feelings. We all have emotions. Mm. emotions mm. the same way i can be hurt the same way a man can be hurt mm. so we do not need to separate between women and men we do not have to use this term of like man up you are telling them to man up and yet they are broken as he has given an example even great men in the bible cried you know in kenya it is always a breaking news when a man cries you know but it's <laughs> not, but that's the way we think as as human beings <laughs> but also we need also to understand the same feelings we have as women Women, I know we are a bit, uh, uh, even the Bible calls us weak vessels, mm. but doesn't mean that a man also cannot be weak. Because if you hurt me today, if crying is my way of letting it go, I'll cry. The same way even a man, maybe that's their own way. It, it, it will not break you seeing a man cry. It will not break you as a woman. Uh, because because, because you say, men's, women say that men are their pillars. So if your pillar is the one that you see it to be broken, it wouldn't affect you as a woman. But uh, even if there are pillars, it doesn't mean that a pillar cannot be shaken sometimes. Yeah, yeah, all of us, okay, all of us, we, we have emotions. Earthquake. But I think it's just our mentality and how we, we judge, we become too judgmental when it comes to men. For me, if a person comes to me, they are broken, they need to cry, please just cry. I'll just give you a shoulder to lean on. Just cry. If that is your way of letting it out. Because Ram, there are so many men who have been judged so harshly by the society that you're not supposed to cry, you're supposed to man up, you're supposed to, to be like this and like. And that's why you see many men, they are going through stuff, they are not talking to anyone mm -hmm. because there is a way the society ex ex uh, expects them to be. And after someone has a scare breaking news, a man committed suicide, killed the wife, killed the children, because they are, they are, the society is expecting them to be who they are not. And also mm -hmm. forcing mm -hmm. them to be people who they are not supposed to be. So I think it's it's okay. I always say it is okay not to be okay. Mm. And I always say the first step of healing, it is accepting that you're sick. And you accept that I need, I'm sick and I need to, to be treated and I need to heal. So that healing process can come in so many ways, either by speaking it out, either by crying, 
you know, it's it's for me. It's I think it's okay. It's if you okay, are a man okay. out there, if you need to cry, Leah too. Now, now, um, uh, even as as you continue, Timothy, there's the, the, there are those questions that people asked last time, and uh, I would like us to to tackle them even as you continue. So, well, if you if you you get them, just let me know, and then we can bring them up. Oh, sorry, the earlier ones, and if they're new ones, also you can bring them up. Uh, uh, t today we we can sample the map as we continue uh, uh, with this conversation about heartbreak because many men last week were really really not okay. One, they, were, they were not okay. And that's why I started from that point. But now um, uh, uh, let's finish with the men. Let, let's touch on the women. How is a woman expected to deal with a heartbreak here? Because now we have a, a, a man who, who who sees this woman as nagging as weak as and and sometimes they say well they, they see you as a child because you're always crying you're always you know you're always sad uh, how is a woman expected to deal with the heartbreak let me start with you Emma, on, on that as a woman i think uh the issues of the heart the way i can deal with the heartbreak it's not the same way he will deal with it it's not the same way you'll deal with it mm -hmm. It's like, for example, today we can eat the same meal, but it reacts differently on our stomachs. We eat the same thing, but the reactions are different. So the same way, it doesn't mean because someone else dealt with their heartbreak in this way, I should follow their own way. Everybody has their own way of dealing with the issue. Mm -hmm. For example, myself, I'm very emotional. Something small, I just start crying. My husband knows that. Something small, I just start crying. When I'm happy, I will cry. When I'm angry, I will cry. <laughs> when I'm sad, I will cry. <laughs> so sometimes you cannot even tell why I'm crying. But that is my way so, so of crying showing. So crying that doesn't uh, It mean doesn't really sadness. mean Yeah, so we all have our way of letting go. There are people who punch things. There are people who will just go and start punching the wall. There are people who will throw things. There are people who will just sit and keep going. There are people who will shout. There's people who will scream. So people react differently to, to these issues. So mm. you cannot say that this is the way you should deal with it. Yeah. But if you know yourself, again, in the midst of that heartbreak, you also need to have self-control. Because mm. that's now where people do things that they had not meant to do. So, uh, um, um, so here we are talking about women specifically. Yes. We are saying a woman should have self-control. I think all of us, but sometimes, we, get over, yeah, sometimes women, we get overboard. Because uh, many women don't actually women have can that be drama budget. queens sometimes yeah, yeah self-control yeah. yeah sometimes so i think uh, in the midst of everything mm. and I'll, as i always say when you're in that situation sometimes it's also good not to react at that particular time give yourself some time because if i am if i am hurt definitely i'll hurt the other person Everybody who comes on my way, I will hurt them. Because it's, it's like you're carrying... It's like uh, when it is raining. Mm. As long as that you are outside, you are not wet. So when you are under a person who is heartbroken, you are bound to also to be heartbroken and also to hurt others. Yeah, so it's also good to have some... Self-control also in Self -control, that situation, yeah. Of which women are always expected to be drama queens. Uh, let me come to you, Evans. <laughs> uh, talk about women. Ex yeah, expected. <laughs> because uh, is it always going to be... Uh, is it going to be the opposite of, of, of that? As a man, um, what is your take in regards to that? Because now you see a woman overreacting and sometimes they, they cry. They say, ah, you don't love me anymore. Why are you doing these things? You know, what, uh, how would you react to such a woman? One, as a man, I am encouraging the Bible to understand that women are weaker vessels. And the Bible also encouraged me to live with them with understanding. Mm. So uh, having uh, that principle in the Bible, one will understand that this is a woman. She is heartbroken. And I agree totally with uh, what Emma said, that um, at times women can be so dram dramatic and uh, mm. they can be so reactive when it comes to heartbreak. <clears throat> but uh, I would say that um, reacting negatively to heartbreak is not actually a good way to healing. 
it will cause more problems it will cause more issues it will cause more drama and much more sicknesses that were not supposed to be there so as he said that it is okay <laughs> not to be okay mm. i think one of the step uh, of handling this thing is uh, one as i said earlier understand yeah. this is part of life mm -hmm. and number two what are the root cause of this heartbreak mm -hmm. i would tell you that uh, most of these heartbreaks you'll find that at some level both parties contributed yes so that makes me understand that we should treat heartbreak positively mm. it can be a syllabus of growth that you come back to yourself reflect have a, a personal audit mm -hmm. ask yourself question how much did i contribute to this did i also do something that would have led my partner or my friend to do this to break my heart mm. At the moment we begin looking things that way, it is very easy to heal quickly. At the same time, it is very easy to overcome that heartbreak. At mm -hmm. the same time, it is also very easy one day to help somebody who is going through the same. But when we only want to look at mistakes from the other side, we will continue having this story and this story again and again. I know when somebody is heartbroken, it's bleeding. Yes. And the moment you are bleeding and you are not handling it well on yourself, you'll continue bleeding on other people. You'll get mm. to this relationship, you bleed into it, you mm -hmm. break that one, or that one breaks, you get to another one, you're still bleeding. So you'll continue bleeding on your friends, bleeding on your family of people, you're bleeding on your people very close to you. So it is very good or uh, necessary to identify the cause, identify what did I contribute to this issue. Mm -hmm. Did I do something that would have led my partner to go to this direction. And if I did, do I owe them apology? And even if we are not going to be together again, am I strong enough to face the reality and say, my friend, I think I wronged you. And that led you to this. I'm sorry for I wronging think many, you. Many people always find it hard to do that. Yes, and again, that is, the, that, that is to do with, um, I think, ego issues. Mm. We must overcome that to accept that we are human beings and we can make mistakes. Even in a relationship between a husband and a wife, we must come to that level of realizing that I'm a human being. I can make mistakes. I can cause my husband or my wife to do this. And therefore, I need to do a personal audit and count those things I did that contributed to her or to him reacting that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, um, they, they, we, we've made a post on our Facebook page, and uh, 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 let me just uh, get that. And uh, uh, let me read one one comment here. Um, there is somebody. This is uh, Scott uh, Scott OG, and I said, "Mami, I pl I plead. I cannot let her go just like that without trying to get her back." And, uh, and uh, this is the point that I would, like, uh, I would like to ask you. When somebody is heartbroken, they always try to find a way to bring them, those people back, back work after Omea Chana. Uh, 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 is it okay to bring them back, to try and find ways of, of, of getting them back in your life after you know, they broke your heart? It is okay because that tells you you're human. Mm. You cannot heartbreak somebody, then you just forget them the next day and you want to continue. You need to try to make them understand you. You need to try to make them forgive you. You need to try to bring them together. I mean, bring yourself together again mm. and try. In life, there's always another chance. There's always a second chance. Mm. It is right. It is human to reach out to your partner. When you know she is heartbroken, he is heartbroken, it is human to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, comment, comment on that, Emma. Um, trying to get her back, uh, to get them back after they broke your heart do is that a no-go zone or that's okay i think uh there's a saying we say in my language and we say when you go back to something that you had already come out that is what will eat you i think it makes more sense in in kikuyu mm. because i if if someone is 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 able to hurt you once they can hurt you again and again and again it is not a guarantee that when you go back things will be smooth 
And there is nothing as bad as you have gone through something with somebody and then you sit down and talk about it and then you go back and then you go through the same same thing. The second mm. time it might be even worse than the first time. Number two, it may affect even the issue of trust. Because if you were if if you had ha if, uh, if I was heartbroken at first, yes. even if I come back, I will not trust you hundred mm. percent. As we were saying last time, my one leg will be inside, the other one will be outside. Mm. In I will be on your, on my marks in case anything happens. I'm ready to I'm ready to go. To go, yes. Uh the third thing, someone ca can also come back with the mindset of revenging. Okay, you did this to me. So I'm coming back, but this time round. I want to to, to show I you who I will show is. you who I am. So <laughs> it's also at the same time it's mm. also good uh, as human you can also sit uh, and talk about it but also be careful to what you are going back to. I think we have seen uh, stories even in news where people had uh, separated and then they come back together and the next thing someone killed someone. It's also you, you also need to check yourself well. Are you ready for it? Mm. Even the other person the one who maybe had hurt the other person are they are they really changed? Or they're just acting for that particular moment just to get you back. Because there are people who will really uh, pretend like all is doing well, I'm good, I have healed, come, let's do this again. But uh, I think it's also always good to be careful where you're going back to. Because personally, I will not go back. Because you I believe if back. you can hurt me once, Nothing will so stop you from hurting me the second time or even the third time. And maybe this one maybe might even be worse. So personally, I will not go back. All right. And, and, and now, um, let me s s sample a few of the questions that were there uh, 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 in, in the previous session. And, th and then we tackle them because we did not manage to, to, to handle them all, Emma. Yeah, yeah let's ta tackle them all and, uh, and uh, give people solutions to what's happening. So, even as we um, as yes. you do that, yes. Well, we have uh, several ways of looking at this thing. Mm. When it happens now, you are heartbroken with what? What was the issue? Because yes, some of the these source, things, the, the 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 problem itself. Yeah, what's the problem? Okay. Maybe it is rejection. Maybe it is infidelity. Maybe it is. Uh, this, 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 this sense of uh, insecurity, you feel that you are not given adequate love. You are not given adequate um, uh, attention. Mm. And this thing is heartbreaking you. So there are several things that could cause this. And that's why I say that uh, before even you move on, before you take any other action, could you try to look at what happened? Was it a premeditated mistake? or premeditated issue, or it was just a natural accident that could happen to any person. I agree with Emma that uh, any time you are intending to go back, you must also look at the things around, look mm. at the things involved, matters involved. What are these things I'm reinvolving myself into? Is this his or her nature? Is this his or her life? What are the background issues surrounding this thing? Those things can lead to you not accepting to go back, but forgiving, or sitting down, squaring it out, agreeing, and giving yourself time to heal and time to bring back the trust. Because any time heartbreak happens, it also breaks the trust. It breaks love. It breaks um, affection. So you give yourself time to heal and get yourself back as one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Um, yeah. You have something to add on that? I'm going to go yeah, I think uh, I think what he's saying is right. But the moment you're sick and you're not, you have not given yourself time to heal. Mm. There's no day you'll ever be okay. So you okay. need first of all to work on yourself. Even before we look at the other person, mm. work on yourself first. Because mostly, as I was saying last time, we are so busy looking at the other person. You are not doing this. You are not treating me like this. You are not doing this. But am I doing? What am I doing? But but yeah. but, but you know, I, I'm looking at this particular uh, individual who is asking themselves, where did I go wrong? What did I do wrong to offend you to make you break my heart like that? And they have no response they have no answer to such kind of a question and they blame themselves every single day yet they don't know where they went wrong i think when you look into yourself mm -hmm. and you are sure that 
you know sometimes uh, especially women we are the ones who ask mostly why why are you doing this yes what have i done wrong mm -hmm. but i'm telling you ram if i'm the one and i have looked into my heart and i know i have not done anything wrong then i'm gonna face you with the reality you need mm. to check yourself because as, as as we were saying last time mm. the foundations means a lot do you know there are people who have grown up knowing that hitting a woman is the right thing because yeah. of the environment they were exposed to mm. that's what they saw their dads do that's mm. what they saw their parents do mm -hmm. there is someone who will treat you the same they have the same way they have seen their mother treat their father so sometimes it's not even their mistake sometimes it's something that, that because the moment you have a small child and the first thing that child is seeing is the father hitting the mother they will know that is love and the mother is still there and then again our african society we have been taught to umeolewa vumilia kwa ndoa ndoa ni kuvumilia i am sorry mimi says vumilia ndoa it's not supposed to be a kuvumilia issue a relation it's not supposed to be kuvumilia you're supposed to enjoy it but most people wanna vumilia because we have this thing of what would the society say what would asema nini nitaambia nini watu where will i go back to Sometimes we, we fail to know who we are and also we fail to know our worth. Because most of the people who are in even these toxic relationships is because they are afraid of moving out. What will your age mate say? What other quit away when you divorce? But I always say God hates divorce, but he loves the divorcee. You do not have to die there in the name of keeping a marriage, keeping a relationship. I'm telling you the truth, Ram, right now I know better. Now let me ask Things you this that I question. Didn't know before. Let me ask you this question. If 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 you're talking about heartbreak and uh, we're saying it's better move m move on. There are people who after a heartbreak they tend to move on quickly as some may assume. you know but I think they moved on too fast. There is nothing they, like moving on too fast. You know these things ram it is you to make a decision because it's either way. Either you move on or you die to kuja mazishi. It is either way. So you need to make a deliberate decision. Be but the more you hang on it, the more it hurts you. Sometimes you just need to let go. So there's nothing like moving on or giving your time to Even give yourself time Even if you move on within a week, okay, but moving on again doesn't mean that you, you get into another relationship. That's what I'm you saying. Can, get no, get no, but get no, you another relationship. can move on by saying, I'm going to give myself time, like one year, two years. Also, that, uh, uh, that is also moving on. Oh, but oh, people right. expect to get on away with something and you can go to No, I can even move on within a day. After this break, I'll come to you and then you will respond to one statement that she said. Uh, uh, God doesn't hate... The divorcee. A divorcee. But he hates divorce. That's he what hates the Bible says. God divorce. hates divorce. We'll talk about that after this break. I want to take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. And of course, we shall, we shall sample uh, uh, those questions that you had uh, asked previously. And of course, uh, we are talking about uh, a heartbreak, dealing with heartbreaks. If I already have a question in regards to this particular issue here, uh, head over to our Facebook page on Y254 Facebook page. And of course, like the page, follow the page, and we shall sample your feedback a bit later on as you continue with this. I mean, after this break, rather. Keep it Y254 y this is Power Talk. Why two five four? Imagine. Welcome back. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. It's all about dealing with uh, uh, a heartbreak today in this particular conversation. And of course, before we went on that break, we were talking about uh, 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 you know the the issues concerning uh, moving on. How uh, uh, long should you uh, give yourself for you to handle? Uh, a heartbreak is there any specific duration uh, you said moving on is moving on but now uh, uh, you, you, there's something on heartbreak that uh, we needed to clarify even further but before we touch on that Emma I want you to address Evans about the issue concerning divorce if somebody breaks your heart are you allowed to divorce them and does God hate divorce but loves the divorcee Basically, she was trying to say that God hates sin, but loves a sinner. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the Bible, there, are, there is only at one, or, uh, one level where God 
allows us to talk about divorce when there is issues of infidelity mm. the bible allows you to divorce and uh, there are issues uh, when such kind of issues come up and you are able to uh, face them and the reality comes out very clear that you cannot continue anymore you are allowed to divorce you are not allowed to die in a relationship in the name of covenant i agree with her you know one of the biggest problem the other day i was watching a citizen was it last month and there's a, a statistics that um, revealed the, uh, a number of men who are involved in suicide and uh, death issues are so many than women why because number one is what emma said we are judged to be very strong every time we are judged to be right even when we are wrong and we also want to be afraid with uh, of what people will say what will i tell people uh wataona nini kwangu wataona i'm weak they'll say that oh he's weak he could not handle this one of the biggest problem is that um, when you try to uh, make what people think about you de- becomes the determining factor in your life then you are headed for a big failure and a big fall you should be concerned about what god says about you because god knows that i was to go through that uh, challenge through that problem and therefore there is a, a parameter there's a principle god had set before even before that problem mm. when this thing happens this is how i need to deal with it mm. so we should not be afraid of what people are going to think about us what people are going to saying about us we need to face the reality it has happened and this is what i have to do now what she said about moving on uh maybe you were referring to getting into another relationship after that exactly i think it will be uh, good for you to give yourself time to heal as i said earlier heartbreak should be a catalyst of growth it should expose you it should reveal your mistakes your flaws and you see these are the mistakes I've done these are my weaknesses now i need to work on myself so that when i get to the next relationship i'm not going to experience the same thing i'm not going to bleed into that relationship again so there's a time that i need to give myself to evaluate myself to do a personal audit work on myself give myself peace and happiness now this time that you're supposed to give yourself mm-hmm. to work on yourself does it have any is, is this stipulated well uh she said that if you are sick and you know you are sick you definitely know that you need a doctor so it is not stipulated that it has to be a month it has to be a year it has to be uh, one week it depends with how fast you heal and recover from what you are going through all right and one of the ways of healing quickly is number one accept that it happened because sometimes we are heartbroken with the people we never expected that from mm. accept it happened number two, find yourself in an environment that would heal you if i'm sick i get to the hospital you will be uh, admitted there you'll be given some ward you're there you're attended to by a doctor so give yourself an environment get out of toxic things and toxic people that would hurt you more so you're saying um one w- 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 another way of helping you deal with the uh, heartbreak is acceptance yeah it has happened yeah and it happened to me yeah and 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 i need to embrace that it did happen do you know why these people who eventually find themselves hiv positive die they don't, they don't to accept no oh. i reject it and some of them will even use the name of jesus christ i rejected jesus please accept it has happened you don't mm. need to use the name of jesus anyhow accept it has happened and in fact the name of jesus christ will work for you when you already accepted that yes i did a mistake i have found myself in a problem i'm hiv positive i'm having this thing i'm, I'm i have cancer and i have to face it now mm. what are the ways of facing it do i have an answer in the lord or in the name of god the bible says yes the the name of the lord is a strong tower 
we can run there. But you don't need just to reject and I, I reject, I reject. I reject with Nigerians will say to fiakwa. I reject. You reject, yes, but you need to know that the moment you begin to accept your problem, that is number one avenue towards mm -hmm. your help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when mm -hmm. you have accepted, give yourself an environment, proper environment to heal. Maybe you have a friend you can trust with that issue. Now, now let's, let's talk about uh, that particular aspect of that environment of healing. And uh, I'm, I'm coming to you in regards to this issue of de de dealing with the pain. Mm -hmm. um, there are people who have a problem when it comes to handling pain. So they ha find distractors. Is that a way of dealing with heartbreak? And, and can it help? Something that can help you to uh, uh, avoid the pain. Emma. I think it depends with which kind of destruction you are looking for. Mm -hmm. There are people who we run to, to like to counsel us. There are people who we run to their parents. There are people who we run to their friends. But the question should be, what are they offering you in return? There are people who we run to alcohol. People will go to drugs. People will go to different things. But you should also ask yourself, for example, if I am heartbroken, I decide to go and drink alcohol. Uh, I'll be drunk for a few hours, then I'll be sober. The question is, is my problem solved? No, it is not solved. So as much as you want to run somewhere or to something, you also need to be careful where you are running to. Mm. There are also friends you will run to, thinking that they are, they are your friends, but inwardly they are clapping. To the joy to chana premium tears, mm. you know. Mm. There's someone who will run to their parents and the first thing they will ask you, you know the parents <laughs> who tell their kids that, you know. Yeah. You know. There's someone who will run to their pastors. And I'm sorry to say this, but sometimes the church has made people lose their way in terms of, hey, we have a member of choir, People cannot know about this. You need to work things out with your partner. Where's Choma? Where's Chomea Church? You know, you, you'll, you'll go to different people and they'll give you different things. But I think the most safest place where you can run to is to God himself. Because he's the only person who is neutral, who will not tell you like your mother, who will not treat you like your friends, who will not treat you like... And as, as, as much as you're taking yourself to God, also now start looking, not tell God not to direct you to the right people. Because in the midst of everything, there are also right people. There are also people who can be, who will help you in the right way. Mm. I have been there before. I think I have shared my story here. And I tried to run to people. And some of the people I ran to, they were like, Hii ni kawaida. We pambana na hali yako. Unona. Kaka ngumu, and we move on. But there are people who, whom I ran to, who held my hand. They talked to me. Some even accommodated me, kuja. Come on, come on, you cannot stay alone. Come, I'll stay with you. I'll take care of you. And when you're back on your feet, now you can, you can take your way. So I think it's also good to be careful to who you are running to and where you are running to. Let me come to you. And, and, and of course, let me also get this perspective uh, as, as a church leader. Do you agree that the church has also uh, 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 broken a few homes? When I, you talk about that? I agree because... Up to some extent, the church have made people to live for the church, mm. not for God and themselves. It is very wrong to try to encourage any member of the church, and please, if any pastor is listening to me, it is very wrong to encourage any of your member to live for the church or to live for a department that you think he or she is going to bring shame to. This person is an individual, he's a soul. It's not a robot. It's not a microphone. Microphone will break in church and we buy a new one. It is always right to take these people to God and let them face the reality. One of the debates that uh, flogged uh, the media a few, is it a month ago, about this great singer, may her soul rest in peace, is about uh, rumors. I'm not sure about those things that 
she was encouraged to leave for the church. Please uh, make sure nobody knows about this thing, you know. Just try to be strong. Just stay, just stay put. Mm -hmm. It is very wrong. I believe the Bible says that God is close to broken-hearted people. Mm -hmm. When we are broke, the issues of heart are not things to play about. You Actually, cannot the, gamble. The Bible does say that he's close to the broken heart. Yes, yes. They will say so. The Bible says so. You cannot gamble with your heart. Mm. Heart is not your leg. Heart <laughs> is not your finger that somebody inserted a ring. You can't gamble with it. When there's a sick, there's sickness in your heart, face the reality. Go to God. Run to God. Yes, God can give you some friends, like I uh, had him say that some friends reach out to her in a good way and handle her uh, carefully and uh, <clears throat> led her the right way, the right path. But I also agree that uh, some friends, today you might not really know who true friends are. Actually, we work at a time when friendship is so casualized. Somebody is hugging you like, uh, like uh, you know, hugging you like killing you. But right in his or her heart, he is not your true friend. You say all your story and after that he's clapping. The next thing is picking a phone call and tell somebody else, oh, now so and so was here. Mm. I told you, see, niliwambia hii arusi haita enda mbali. Niliwambia hii relationship haita enda mbali. So it is also right to do an audit within your circles. Mm -hmm. Who are these true friends? Some people could, be all, could only be close to you to kill you, not to help you. So mm. I agree that um, the moment you realize that you are heartbroken, there is answer in the Lord. There uh, uh, is comfort in God. There is a question that was asked last time, and then uh, Timothy will, will bring in the, the, the comments of, of, of today uh, by Miriam Wanjira. And we tried to tackle this, but we, we did not finish uh, this particular issue, Emma. And so this is Miriam. My question is, Nikona husband and we are married, but every time to Kikosana, he insults me until you think you are in hell. Does that signal there will be a breakup one day? To add to that, he doesn't listen to me akiwa mekasirika. Hataki umuambie makosa yake when you are there correcting him anaongeza volume ya TV anakuambia unampigia kelele anasikia uh, anasikia ka wewe ni mwenda wazimu. There's already a breakup. They are married, remember? They are married, yes. But those people are separate. You cannot ignore your partner while you know very well you are in a relationship. You know, one of the things that uh, you said, Emma said, uh, contributed to something here. Mm. There are people who think that when you are heartbroken, look for something that will take away your mind or distract you yeah, from it. You, you, you are ignoring the pain. Yeah, you ignore the pain. My friend, if you are having stomach ache, you won't ignore it forever by mm. watching TV or watching a cinema continue shortly. You will be there for some few minutes, then after those minutes you face the reality. It is still there. Nobody has ever won a battle by ignoring it. Face the reality. Battles are won when they are fought. Battles are won when you face them. <laughs> you don't run away from the battle and you, you declare yourself a victor. You face the battle, fight it. Now, in this case of uh, our sister, it is heartbreaking and... Uh, to live with such kind of a person who is not willing to listen to you. What should she do? She should, she, should she uh, stay? I think, uh, number one, the first avenue is to seek a way of handling this issue. Maybe with, uh, first of all, their uh, best couples. Uh, find a forum with these friends who her husband can listen to. This is what my friend or my husband is doing. Let him explain himself now before me and yourselves. What is the, wh why this? Because I believe that in a relationship, people talk, people should agree. People should understand uh, each other. Now, let him explain himself. And if he's not willing, even at that point, he's not even willing, when you sit down with your pastor, he's not willing to uh, talk. I can tell you, uh, recently I, I was dealing with uh, some issues in so somewhere. And I, I found a partner that was not willing even to stop. Even when a pastor like myself would say, please, excuse me, 
mtu kama talking. huyo that one you don't need any prophetic word to understand that you cannot be in that relationship you need to get yourself out give him time to understand if if that will expose him to the reality to Does the church allow you to take a break if you're married to such a person i don't talk about church i talk about the bible All you right. know most of the time we, we we say about church 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 until mm. we begin to think that we are living according to the rules and constitution of the church mm. we live according to the word of god remember the bible said that everything absolutely everything above and below visible and invisible all were created for god by god and for god all right and they find purpose in god so we must first of all make the bible to be a de determining factor in every decision that we are making because at times some doctrines in some churches have misled people and some of them are even misled to death uh, emma your 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 reaction to that yeah i agree with what uh, pastor is saying we have uh, we have so many of us are living for the church not mm. for ourselves and people have created christianity to be a place of perfection uh we have no issues we don't get heartbroken we don't get emotional mm. we don't feel hungry if, you if know you are, if you are you broken know, pray about yeah, it yeah yeah pray about it god is going to do it for you hallelujah sister let me tell you there is also the reality of life we how many how many hours do you spend in church very few hours but the 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 other hours you're with your partner you're with this person that you call your partner that the person that, that you call your husband and i think going back to the issue of miriam i think i've been thinking about her since we left mm. here last time and i feel if you want to know what a person thinks about you wait until they're angry that is when they're going to tell you all the things that they that, that the things are in their hearts and what they think about you. Secondly, if this man cannot even give you his attention, then it is, he doesn't deserve you. He doesn't deserve you. If he can open his mouth to say that unampigia kelele, this is supposed to be your friend. This is supposed to be your best friend. This is supposed to be your safe space. But this is the same person who is calling you all kind of names. And if a person calls you a name today, the Bible says that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So you can only tell me what is in your heart. So whatever this man has been telling this lady, that is what is in his, in his heart. So she right. also needs to ask herself, is she ready to live with it? Because if he can do that to you today, he'll still do it tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. There are, as Pastor has said, you cannot pretend for so long. You cannot hide these things for so long. Sometimes the reality will hit you and it might be too late. Let, let, let's, let's check what people are saying on Facebook. Uh, Timothy, bring them up and then to, we, we tackle them. Uh, you can give in your thoughts in regards to these issues that have been uh, in, in regards to, the, to their comments. So what do you do when you're heartbroken, when you, someone leaves you? Uh -huh. uh, are they coming up? All right, let me, let me read this. This is uh, Ruth Dina. And I say, I Nalia, and then I feel released. I love Nalisha what to block. All right. Uh huh. Is it okay to block people, by the way? You can block them on your phone, but have you blocked them from your heart? Some <laughs> <laughs> block was simple, but you can come and block. If I want to block somebody with the. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let, let's go. Kiasi Daniel, bring the, bring it up to Mother. Uh huh. I move on. Na you chumi, that you are stress your chumi ama mapenzi. Mm. I love them. I, I, I make a picture up with you. If they are fine without you, then be fine without them too. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there. Great. All right. Next one. You're in Anuio. All right. Thank you. Uh, what about Wale Watu Huamka morning when I go show it's over? Sana sana, madam, Shida Hukua Nini. I think they have a problem with themselves. Because you cannot just wake up in the morning and tell someone it is over. You have to give reasons why. But they, as I said last time, mm. by the way, I'm to ram. Mm. You know, it's better you tell someone, <laughs> where you don't know how to take a shower, you don't know how to brush your teeth, so I cannot stay with you. Yeah. Rather than someone just going like mute, they're not telling you what you did. Okay, maybe when we were kids, I don't know why this has ever happened to you. 
Mama yako ashai kuja home na kuangalia tuna suspicious little. Ujui ni umefanya. Sasa uko like kai nini nilifanya. So you, you know it it really becomes a problem you too. All right. Uh, <laughs> Catherine Jagger nasema I try to convince myself that all will be well soon and uh, <laughs> that person was not worth it. I'm going to that fool. <laughs> junior Junior and as I talk to my friends and keep a diary of how you uh, uh, how you feel uh, but I didn't I didn't let it dominate my life and uh, uh, don't make rash decisions with that and some and some music all right uh, uh, let's talk about that issue of writing diaries is, is, is it a good uh, recipe of uh, healing diaries like what uh, is keeping uh, like Emma offended me such as such a uh, date, uh, such as such a date, and to see. This happened, yes, yes. Wow, that is not a good way of dealing with uh, matters, heartbreaks. You know, when you keep these mistakes and you write them down, it simply means that uh, there's a reason why you are keeping them. The reason why you are keeping them, maybe there's a day you would want to have evidence and to prove him or her wrong. Mm. Uh, I think you're also doing yourself a lot of harm because you'll be always be constantly reminded of the things you've gone through. All right. That so, can, I don't know about the age of daddy. Uh, uh, in fact, it is not very far from going for alcohol so that you forget, then after some time, you get back to it again. Why, uh, uh, Timothy, uh, let me get This is uh, Nani Huyo. Uh, Ju Tufu. I believe the Ju Tufu no, 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 Unashika kamzinga upige sherehe. Yo tumesama isaidi, sendeo? Isaidi, by the way, if you don't manage well your heartbreak, it might give birth to more problems that you never, you, you, didn't, you didn't have in your life. And it might lead you to addictions that will take you centuries to overcome. So, kupiga, amesama kupiga nini? Kupiga sherehe. Kupiga sherehe. Mm. It in only for a few minutes, and my friend, by the time you are done, you'll realize that problem is still there with you. <laughs> Sheree Taisha, the pain will still be there. Lavenda, so you'll continue living the life of Sheree. Lavenda Agutu, and uh, I'm just minding my own happiness. Hat King Simon Classic, and I'm una buy nyama, una pika, una kula na supu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let me add something that uh, uh, Emma said. Uh, why am I forgetting this thing? Mm. Uh, she said something about, okay, I'll remember it later. Okay, so. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's so unfortunate to see how people are taking this thing lightly. And you know that the society we are living in today, mm. we don't take things seriously. Tunatukwa China is the order of the day. But I'm telling you, it is not. We it think is it's not, normal. Yeah, it is not normal. Actually, we have a very big problem, especially in our generation. For example, I was giving an example. Leo of post troop chako tuna 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 demi yako mana bibi yako. The first comment from the zawatu muta chana tu. That is the society we are living in today. But I'm telling you the truth: it's a very dangerous society. And and it's a, it's a society where we like talking about who left who. Yes. Who and then and actually, and we are happy talking about it. Oh, to reject what I China, you know. And imagine we are we are getting it wrong. And I'm sorry to see people commenting funny things. That I, this thing is really serious. People are even dying because of it. Uh, it's it's serious. The, there are some who end up becoming uh, foodias, for lack of a better term. Foodias, they eat a lot. Um, is, is it a, also a way of... Uh, stress, there are uh, people who stress eat. Yeah, there are people who eating. don't eat. Yeah. I think it's just, as we were saying, there are people who deal with this thing in different ways. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. uh, let's, uh, let's just read a few, uh, just three more, and then we we to an easy comments on Facebook. Uh, Jenlin Mora. All right, and I'm watching the show from Kisi. Ukiwatch, you are man up and move on. Wow. 
Wow. It's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Samson Changari anasema, you must delete that past to archives your target. You must delete the past to archives your target. Sijalakta amesema hapo lakini ni sawa. Raw love anasema, admi inaangalia vituko hapa raw love. Alright? Yes. Let me check. Uh -huh. do, do, do we have a... Uh... Alright, Timothy, kuna ingine? Alright. This is uh, Snow Child. That's what you're saying, huh? Snow Child. And I'm um, no, Shaz, Shazi Diana, and I'm tuning in from Thika. Mimi huwa na mua kusikiliza gospel music and then moods in Arudi Vizuri, in Arudi Posa. Uh, Maxima Weng, and I'm is there love with no attachments? Oh, I think that's a question, yeah? That is not love. All right. Mtajibu yosu, ndio? Is there love with no attachments? Veronica Kaguri, and I'm unakula kuwa na nature walk, then unajirembesha vizuri, unatafuta pesa mingi kuliko yake, alafu tafuta friend mcute, na kona pesa uwe mkipita mbele yake, ajue, rabi shile takataka ile ametupa kwa mwingine ni nyama. Wow. Wow. Ouch. Hard. Stone stone kaka stone kaka let you uh, stone kaka accept the reality and narudi drawing board Ruth Diana anasema nalianga tu then na feel released alafu nalisha watu block yeah, yeah, you, you, I think you saw my yo um let's react to those comments first let me start with you Emma uh, I think okay some people are just funny and uh you kwanza kutafuta pesa mingi kumuliko what will you achieve out of it at the end of the day, yes, yes, you'll get the money, but money will never buy you love. No matter how much money you have, how many millions you have, it will never give you happiness. So sometimes it's just good to let go. For All example, right. if you have an old car, or you have a car, mm. imeharibika, do you go and buy another car and then come on a petition now the new car in front of the old car? Because mm. you have a now I have a new one. You don't. You just move on and let go, you know? Right. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Evans? That is uh, a reality that is happening today. Mm. Most people in our generation, when they are heartbroken, they always want to prove their former partners wrong. And by doing that, they develop what we call uh, 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 this sense of insecurity. Uh, how do you call it? There's another term here, whereby you, you lack your true image. You are living for somebody else to prove that you are better than them. But how long are you going to prove to somebody that you are better than them? And what will you gain by proving to somebody that you are better than them? All right. You are All going right. to gain nothing. And another thing, uh, the other day my wife posted a, a, a photo on Facebook. Right. And, uh, and, and uh, I, I, I've loved the comments. And what Emma said is very true. Uh -huh. There are people who have uh, casualized relationships today to uh, think that you can only be there for a week and it is done. Mutaachana tu. Mutaachika tu. Such kind of things. So you find that today we are living, most of people are living with a lot of ideas that are coming from uh, the current cultures and issues that are uh -huh. happening around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we don't know that life is basically a, a divine idea from God that we need to live this life according to the will of God. All right. We don't need uh -huh. to see things or see people when I turn to the next minute, the moment you see them together, mm. we always need to see things in a posi from the positive perspective. Let's be positive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and, and of course, today we're talking about dealing with heartbreak because of the interest of time. We have to wrap it up at that point. And of course, uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Emma. Thank you so much, Evans. I want us to uh, wrap it up with a quote of the day. Bring it up. Tell us if you agree with this. Be strong enough to let go. And wise enough to wait for what you deserve. Do you agree with that or not? I agree. Course, I agree. I agree. agree with that. I agree. <laughs> and maybe this the final one. Let us run to God. The Bible says that God is close to people who are broken hearted.
All right. He's waiting to hear from you and heal you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, 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 for coming, uh, uh, Emma and Evans. Asana, asana. And of course, a big thanks to everybody that was participating on this particular conversation. Thanks to our producers. And on behalf of everybody that, that ensured this show was a success, may God bless you. May God bless your, 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 the work of your hands. And may God heal your hearts. It was all about dealing with heartbreak. And my name is Ram Aguko. A repeat of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. This is Power Talk.